You keep saying that this is all about business. It is. Caleb is Marissa's lawyer in this whole custody mess. He's doing everything he can to keep AJ away from me. I can imagine how difficult that is for you. Difficult? You know how much I care for AJ. You helped me hold on to him when David tried to steal him from me. Then I'm sure you know that I have no desire to make things worse for you. But your partner does. See, it's not enough for him just to get Cortland back. He wants to take my son from me. And that bloodsucker wants to leave me with nothing. And that's where I come in. Why? Why what? Well, Caleb's sole purpose is to take me down. At least I know what he stands to gain. But you... You're just involving yourself in someone else's war. For what? You were there. You were at the will reading. Your fabulous dear Uncle Palmer left me with a job to do, and I will be damned if I let him down. Uncle Palmer, was that important to you? Yes. As a matter of fact, he was. Now, you wouldn't be following me, would you? Last I checked, public place. Yeah, this is. But my home isn't. And if I catch you there again, what would you do? You don't want to know. Get a ring me out too? Well, not unless you give me a reason to. Just here to do some work. And order something. Coffee. Black. Well, what do you know? You have something in common with Caleb. <laughs> Good to be home, isn't it? Yeah. Great to be home, be here. Yeah, Daddy Zach may have to leave soon. Why? I got something to take care of, but I will be back before you can close your eyes, turn around, and count to a thousand. Mm. Oh, that's a long time. I will do everything in my power that we have this, that we're here together, but I gotta leave for a little while, but I'll be back soon. I promise. Promise on Lord Stanley's cup. All right, gentlemen? You know what, guys? I think it is time for some lunch. You guys want some lunch? Yeah. Yeah, yeah over hot. I bet you do. Come on, would you mind? Come on, let's, let's go. Let's go. Let's go, guys. <laughs> oh, okay. Give me that. <laughs> Why did you even come back? What kind of a question is that? To be with my family. Only to leave us two seconds later? Zach, this is crazy. We... We were minutes away from making love, and then all of a sudden you go sprinting out the front door. Pretty sure I was walking, Kendall. No, no, Zach, either forgive me or don't, but enough with the back and forth. Kendall, he's... No, no, Zach, listen to me. I love you, and I know you love me, so stop pushing me away. Well, aren't you going to say something? Depends, are you done? Yes. I'm not pushing you away. Well, then what are you doing? I'm trying to keep you safe. Step away from the trial for a few hours, you miss a lot. Gosh, I, um... I wouldn't know where to start. Uh, well, there's a witness who said that he saw Ryan outside my hotel room the night that David died. Well, I mean, that's okay, right? You admitted that you two had a fight in there. Well, this witness also testified that he heard Ryan say that someone was going to die that night. What? And you, you knew about this guy? You knew what he was going to say? Tad found him the night before the trial, and he brought him to me, and I, uh, I brought him to Jack. Who I'm not done with. By the way, I told him you were off limits. Hey, Greenlee, it's, it's, it's done. You it's are out of your done. mind if you think I'm going to sit back and watch this happen. When are you going to stop being the hero? Madison, I... 
I'm really not trying to be the hero here. I'm trying to get the truth out in the open. That's that, that's all I'm, I'm, I'm trying to do, okay? I mean, I, I personally think it's time that we all face this. What's, what's this? Face the facts. What? The facts. We have to face the facts that lead to the real possibility that I am guilty, that I am the one that killed David. You and the boys are my whole life, and you know that. You're starting to scare me. I don't want to... I don't want to scare you. I know I gave you a hard time about Greenlee and Ryan. A hard time? Zach, you wouldn't and even I thought it was my, my turn calls. to talk right now. But you... you... All right. Okay, I'm sorry. Yeah. Not a word. You're still doing it. You're still talking. I'm Why? done. I'm done. This, but that's what I meant. See, I miss this. I miss us. And I, I miss... I miss you and our kids and this life. And I, I wish I could just lock the door and be here forever. But... But you can't. No, I can't. Zach, what is going on? Something's come up. Something that I thought I'd handle, but obviously I was wrong. And I can't do this. I can't restart our life together until I deal with it. Believe me, JR, had I known that you planned to snake Cortland Electronics away from Caleb, I would have stayed. You also didn't rush back when you heard the news of the sale. So what has you so invested now? Caleb. Who let you in? One of your servants. What do you want? More good news on your custody case. Now, what are you doing here? You're making deals on your own? That's not part of our arrangement. I came here to try to be the voice of reason. We all need to be reasonable. JR, you want to hold on to your family legacy. Yes. Caleb, you want to get your legacy back. So? So the only way we can do that is that we all need to work together to make that happen. And I'm not giving you any choice. You have no choice. This is going to happen. For the record... You've spoken you're... like a true lawyer. I never lied to you. Well, you sure as hell didn't tell me the truth. I knew something was going on. I told you not to use Ryan to get me acquitted. He was protecting you the same way you're trying to protect him. Is this Pearson guy even for real? Yes, he is. So he really saw Ryan. He, he heard him say that? He says he did. Oh, my God, Dad. The police could start digging around because of this. What if they find more evidence against him? Really, to my knowledge, there is no more evidence against him. That vial that you're holding? Ryan had it. Oh, my God. I think he did it. Kendall, I think he poisoned David. You said you trusted me. And clearly that was a mistake. You're fired. I am not a peacemaker. I have far more important things to do with my life than to referee your spitting matches. For me, this is all about fixing this so it doesn't get in the way of my life and the things I would like to to accomplish. If you keep on going this way, there will be nothing left to fight over. But it's not fun for him if he doesn't have a grudge to hold over me or child to steal. You and your cousin are the thieves. I want to see my son, damn it. You want to watch that temper. It's not going to serve you well in court. Let's go. Think about what I said, JR. You're not actually leaving with him. This might be a fun challenge for you, but you have no idea what you're involving yourself in or what he is capable of. I have spent enough time with this man under uh, even more trying circumstances, so believe me, I am relatively sure of who he is. You're wrong. He plays up the tortured mountain man routine, wounded by civilization, when in fact he is the one who's doing the wounding. Isn't that right, Caleb? You've left so many casualties behind. You have no idea who I am or what I do. I know more about you than you think I do. Let's go. This is not about the company. This is about flesh and blood. I know that you would do anything to protect your family just like I would. He does not have the first clue about that. Putting family before business, loving a child before himself. 
He's only concerned with taking me down, but if you'd like to be connected to someone like that, be my guest. Just make sure you don't end up as collateral damage. You can show yourselves out. I understand you're upset. Do you? Really? But you cannot fire me in the middle of your trial, Greenlee. Watch me. The judge won't allow it. Not without very good reason or unless you decide to represent yourself. Mm -hmm. I've heard worse ideas. I haven't. Oh. This is your life we're talking about. The difference between you waking up in your California king or on a cot behind bars for the rest of your life. Don't you think I know that? Then why is it that you can't see that our number one priority is to get you a not guilty verdict? Because that verdict turns around and indicts Ryan. There has to be another way. Don't you think if there was another way, we'd already be walking down that path? I have to create reasonable doubt, and the only way I can do that is to point a finger at somebody else. Well, then find another somebody else. Nobody else had the means, the motive, and the opportunity like Ryan did. Don't even say that. Don't even think it. I have to. And guess what? So does Ryan, because since this witness popped up out of nowhere, it's looking more and more like maybe Ryan did kill David. Greenlee. Don't tell me this hasn't gone through your mind more than once. That's why you're so damn opposed to this idea. You didn't kill David. You couldn't have. Look, as long as I don't remember what happened that night, yeah, yes, I absolutely could have. I, I thought you were just planning the scene here. I thought, I thought you were just making it look like you were guilty to raise reasonable doubt. Because I didn't want to face the worst. All right, because... Because I don't have to look my kids in the eye and tell them that I actually hurt somebody. I don't want to do that. I mean, even if it's somebody is David. Okay, you don't... You don't know how much I hate this. This whole thing, I, I hate it. This, this, this is... This is exactly what I have been running from my entire life. All, all of the anger, all, all of the rage, and then the actions that come from that. All of the violence. I mean, now I'm caught. I'm just... I'm caught right in the middle of this. But you don't know that for sure. But I have to explore the possibility, Madison. This is unreal. I'm so sorry. I'm gonna call Annie. I gotta fill her in. What's going on? What, what's going on? What's going on is you are about to abandon your little girl. Are you honestly prepared to do that? I, I am not abandoning anybody. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get the truth out in the open. That's it. And, what, and once that happens, I got Jack. Jack and I will fight this thing to the end. Yeah, that's great, but what if you lose? Greenlee is innocent. And I know that. Okay, so I have to do what's right. I have to help her. There's no answer. I will go see Annie. I'll, I'll fill her in and we can make a schedule for Emma for the week. No, you don't have to do no, that. I want to do anything to get out of here.